So let's look at an example before we get started. Let's say that N is this subgroup, uh, the subgroup generated by R cubed of D6. So that's the uh, symmetries of a hexagon, right? So notice that in D6, what do we know? So in D6, we know that there are two generators those generators are S and R, the like basic reflection and then the basic rotation. And then we know that S squared equals the identity, R to the sixth equals the identity, and R to the K times S equals S times R to the six minus K, right? I'd like to, you know, if you know, you like search the internet about some things, y you may end up seeing a slightly different version of this right here. Sometimes this rule right here is given by um, S R S equals R to the fifth. And then, well, generally S R to the K S would be R to the six minus K. It's like kind of the same thing. Sometimes they give commutation relations uh, in this form like th with this uh, conjugation, because one of these is really like S inverse, right? Is this supposed to be also, this is also like of the general form, R to the K on the left and then R to the N minus K on the right? Yeah, okay. So now let's look at N. So N is generated by uh, R cubed. So that means it has E R cubed. And then, well, it's a cyclic subgroup, so it's gonna have R cubed squared, right? But what's R cubed squared? Yeah, it's E, because it's R to the six. Good. So this is the, these are the elements of N. 